Thanks, Professor Ulpi. Hello everyone, my name is Anita, Teacher Anita. Welcome to the Virtual Days, Renewables Energies, Spain. Although you do not know me, today I see many familiar faces. Hi Macarena, hi Gonzalo. Marta, Antonio. Hello Turkey. Hi Professor Sesjin. Hello Alpa, Osia, Kerem, hello Belgian friends, hi Professor Kuhn. Hi Ellen, hi Luca, hi Noemi. From Spain, we are very happy to be with our Belgian and Turkish friends, sharing these virtual days. We hope that these are to your liking, and you enjoy sharing a new experience before meeting again personally in Turkey. For today, we have prepared an activity in which we will work in teams. Okay, here we go. You have just read an article in a magazine specialized in electric mobility. Probably after reading the magazine article, you have realized that behind all these efforts to improve the quality of our planet, there are many interests and, of course, politicians involved. Behind the politicians, there are always interest groups or lobbies. Just think of the number of offices in Brussels trying to influence European guidelines and the amount of money that certain business groups with common interests make available to influence decisions that affect us all. Renewables are an increasingly viable and necessary alternative for energy production, as they offer a number of advantages compared to non-renewable energy sources, such as reducing greenhouse gas emissions and decreasing dependence on fossil fuels. However, the implementation of renewable energies also presents a number of challenges and problems for different stakeholders. For example, local communities, who may have concerns regarding the construction and operation of wind or solar farms in their territories, including issues such as landscape impact, impact on biodiversity and participation in decision-making. On the other hand, companies operating in the fossil fuel sector may have competing interests in the transition to renewable energy, as they could be affected by the decrease in demand for their products. Governments also have a key role to play in promoting renewable energy and implementing policies that enable its development, but they can also face challenges such as the investment needed to build adequate infrastructure and the need to balance the interests of different sectors. So, the implementation of renewable energies poses a series of challenges and problems for different stakeholders. Our mission today is to try to understand who is on each side of the scale. Which are their interests? Here there are no bad guys or good guys, but groups that defend their interests and in many cases, their survival. And talking about survival, we understand that all available tools are used so that some interests or business do not die or at least, they lasts as long as possible. But when those who are in check are the most powerful groups, the future of the changes may no longer be so obvious. Industries as powerful as oil or automobile, or of a nations whose GDP depends on technologies that are flagged by pollutants, they need very slow transitions to adapt their investments. On the other hand, countries and companies whose fossil fuels supply depends on other nations, rushing the transition so that it happens as soon as possible. In between, political decisions. And we all know how influenceable and susceptible to corruption they are. The first part of this activity is to ask yourselves questions. The most difficult to answer. Questions whose answers are not that easy to find in books or on the internet. Remember the article you just read. Who is interested in pink hydrogen being considered green hydrogen? Get together and state at least three questions. The most complex, inquisitive and acidic you can imagine. You have 20 minutes. Go ahead boys.